Okay, well, so here we go. So close. let's listen to this guy. So we th- we're starting right now with this role play then. Yes. Okay. okay here we, here go. we go. All right. And uh, are are we starting with your entrance, or do we have a little conversation? Well, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll let's make uh, some small talk. Before sure. He enters. Okay. <clears throat> well, I thought that your the work you did on Puss in Boots was fantastic. The kids were just over the moon. Uh, thank you so much. It's yeah. it's always great to hear from my friend of twenty five years. Um, and it's it's wonderful to hear that you enjoyed exactly what we were doing. And I, I what I like to do is exactly what has always been done with these fairy tales and give the people what they expect. Why why deviate from the script? They're they're classics. They're perennials. Mm-hmm. Let's shake hands and agree that we won't. Oh, what's? Excuse me. Am I interrupting? Look, look at I don't want to interrupt anything. Uh, hello. I guess our open door policy here at the theater is paying off because yeah. a very rich man just walked in. Yes, that's right. Don DeMello, theatrical. <laughs> director from another dimension theatrical director yes that's correct well that's <laughs> wait that's... why is that what i <laughs> fixated on theatrical yeah. director <laughs> <laughs> seems like the another dimension would have been far more interesting to me well you know we're used to so much craziness in the theater that oh, i don't think that true. phases us gay people this yeah exactly yeah uh, gay people in, the got them in this dimension i'm sorry <clears throat> to hear it sorry not much is different it. from yours yeah okay all right Hey, hello, gentlemen. Hey, oh, hi. I understand you're in the business of producing children's theater. How did you we were come just to know that? About uh, how did I come to know it? Oh, Christ Almighty, this is hard. These role playing things are hard. <laughs> how did I come to know? Jesus Christ! Uh, can can you I just had guess? A sign on the door. Yeah, I was going to maybe ask with our what, pictures. Was it the fact that it's our pictures next to uh, the Enchanted Grove Children's Theater? Is that what maybe? Led you to believe that that's... There what you go. Right. So I saw that, and I said, these guys are in the business of children's theater. Okay, well... And that's a smart business to be in. Let me tell you something. Okay. Because if you put on a show that's just for Daddy, Daddy's going to come all by himself, and he's not going to buy any popcorn because he's on a diet, and he's not going to buy any of your overpriced drinks because he's got sense and reason. But well, you, you know, I found that when a man is away from his family... He sometimes cheats on his diet because that is he doesn't true. have. That is true, sir. So we actually do really well in concessions <coughs> when yeah. we when we just do uh, shows for daddies. Oh, do you sometimes just do the daddy shows? I just do daddy shows uh. normally uh, at midnight. Oh, yeah. is that right? Yeah, mm-hmm. we do midnight shows here. Yeah, this daddy is my suggestion, show. though. Oh, put those shows in front of the kids. Get daddy in there with the kids, hmm. so that the kids are begging daddy for more snacks and stuff like that, and you can really make money. Okay, well, that's pretty much what we do here at the Children's Theater is we put on shows for, for families mostly. Yeah. We mostly do the Midnight shows Daddy shows. Here's but, uh, where you're stupid. Oh, oh I'd love okay. to hear this. Because yeah. you think you have to choose between a daddy show and a kitty show, okay? So you're putting <coughs> on shows that the kids love in the daytime and the daddies can't stand. And then at night you're putting on daddy shows that the kids can't come to. What I'm saying is put them together. Huh. <clears throat> like, give us an example. Like, let, 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 for instance, what if we did? Uh, you were uh, mentioning Puss in Boots. We just concluded we just a, Puss a great run of oh. twenty years. I tell you of what, eight performances a day. What yeah. I want to pitch you is a Three Little Pigs production, oh. where instead of building houses, they put together outfits for themselves. You understand what I'm saying? I don't understand what you're saying. Pig, they're sewing clothing for themselves. Yeah, that's right. And one of them makes an outfit that's so flimsy that along comes a big bad wolf. Who should actually be a wolf, if possible? And That's, yeah, we can do that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he thinks you, you're saying an actual live wolf. No, yeah, we can yeah. do that. That's no problem. <clears throat> okay. People love animals. People love girls in danger. You I just, have a re- I have a relationship with a zookeeper here in town. No, no, I'm confused. You just j- jumped ahead. Uh, you said these are little pigs are making clothing. Oh yeah, no, the girl, the, the pigs are girls, beautiful girls, the most beautiful girls you can find. Beautiful girl pigs. Beautiful. No, these are real girls. Real girls. Oh, Human I get girls. It. Oh, I get beautiful, it. I get gorgeous. It. Okay, well that's yeah, that's easy to do. I have a relationship with uh, a zoologist who uh, I, I supply him with drugs. And uh-huh. he gives me uh, animals quite often. So uh, your business model is very impressive. Thank you so much. Very, very impressive. Thank you. All right. So he'll need to supply a wolf. Okay. No problem. Yeah. All right. So the wolf comes on, and I don't know if you could teach a wolf to blow hard. Uh, mm. Probably not. That's the uh, that's the animal trainer's department. I wouldn't. I'm... Yeah. If you put enough uh, Thorazine into him, 
he can just kind of like open up his mouth and uh, not bite. We'll down. do like a sound effect or something. Yeah, and then you might need to do a, a, an effect off stage with a fan or something like that. And it blows mm-hmm. off this outfit made of straw. Mm-hmm. One of the girl pigs has made herself an outfit of of, of straw, right? Mm, right? And it blows right off, and she's naked. And she's running away from this wolf, and the wolf is running, and he wants to eat her. And if possible, if we could really get the feeling that this girl is truly in danger of being eaten by this actual wolf. When you say eaten, do you mean uh, uh, actually consumed? Or devour do you mean- her? I think so. That's my view. I mean, you could, you know, you could, you could hire a person to play the wolf, and then you could play some other game or something like that, something sexy. But I think it's nice if girls are in danger. Guys love to see girls. You, you seem to be danger. describing a chase scene. We have a very small stage. Where would she be running? All into? through the audience. All through the audience. Oh, that's oh. good. I, okay. I, I, I like this. She's idea. got nothing on at this point. She's climbing over the audience. You know, mm. uh, things like that to get away from this wolf, who of course is climbing over them as well. Well, I I'd have one concern, uh-huh. which is I am currently the director. Yeah, I would have to quit. But I'm willing to do that if I can get free tickets to every performance. Why would you? Oh, because I would be directing yeah. this production? Yeah. It sounds like you're pitching yourself as the director. Yeah, that's my that's my game. I'm I would be willing director. to quit in exchange for free tickets. Do you think that would be possible? To every show. Every show, with and a special seat kind of in the front in the splash zone, if you will. Uh, where but it, it prob- doesn't Probably suck. the seat where the girl climbs up but, over, over my head and kind uh, of gives me Can I just say, a, though, like, you're saying three little pigs. Now, this is a chase scene. The straw blows off. The, do we have the other? Do, where does it go from there, though? Well, you'd want to get. I'm sorry about this guy, by the way. I'm on board. Listen, I'm, he's helping well, it's the process. Theater. He's I'm helping just the process. Wondering how, you yeah, know. I'm, I, I apologize for him. We've Why been are friends you taking for, him? We've been friends for 25 years. And you know this guy for four frankly, minutes. Frankly, this guy is a fucking asshole. Is that what? right? I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. I, we've I don't. Done I don't get it. He doesn't. Two decades of successful performances. He's, he's, he's like the reverse Rumpelstiltskin. He doesn't want to turn so. straw into gold. You're he wants so. to turn your gold into fucking shit. I'm sorry about him. Gold. It's an animal assaulting a nude woman in front this of children. This guy is an extra-dimensional genius, and you're sitting here questioning him? You fucking asshole. How dare idea. you? Yes. Why don't you go sit in your car? Who, you, me? You, him. Him? Yeah. And you and me will cut down a tree right next to you. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking on board with I'm, this. I've, 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 understood, hey. I've understood absolutely every word you've said. You I, I don't know why there was no up. time to leave you the room. You sad little oh, man. Sad li- I I bring... Joy to the the families of children. You bring nothing for twenty years. You bring a heart made of shit. Where does all this come from? Vowel sounds from Australia. You're the godparent of my daughter. What your daughter is a fucking freak, and I've turned her into a freak. Uh, What did you do? I I don't want to wait. What did? I don't want to hear this. On off peak hours, I've turned your daughter into the freakiest, nastiest little thing. That I have ever, ever, ever seen. Come with me back to my dimension. Are, is this? Are you infecting our dimension with your? <laughs> I, you've literally transformed in front of me. Come on, bad. What the? What come is on. happening? I have to stop this invasion. Come it's on, an unknown Joyce. side effect of this uh, alternate dimension where my personality I'm, is contagious. Join hey, with us. I am locking the door of this join office. With us, I am locking the door of this come office, on. and I'm not letting you bring guys. Out the girls. I'm not letting you guys bring out. out the girls. Just come spread on, your infection. Am I right, Don? Do you think you guys are getting out of this room without hey. paying the toll? Oh, there's a toll you gotta pay. Oh, what kind of toll are we paying? Flesh. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. pay that toll. There's right gonna on. be that there's gonna be nice. part of you dripping oh. off of my fingers. I got a flesh. What you did pass. to my daughter. Oh, yeah. And bring I'm telling you now, to bring my you're daughter. gonna describe what you did to my daughter oh, in full just detail. Tell us, tell us and you're gonna oh. describe it slowly. Let's go oh, meet some other guy. Yeah, let's go find him. Bring out the girls, the guys, whoever. Perfect. <laughs> Boy, that was a really fun improv. That's a really deep role yeah. playing there. That was wow. That's the way a surprising number of my pitch meetings go. 